Hello and welcome to 42886 Hawk Drive, Big Bear Lake. We're up in beautiful Moon Ridge subdivision. Hawk Drive is a beautiful and dead end street and it butts into this. It's almost like a cul-de-sac feel, really. Mm -hmm. um, there are three Gambrel homes right here with a really cute A-frame as well in between separating. This is our beautiful home that we get to go take a look at. This is a beautiful 1,304 square foot house. It sits on a lot size of 7,700, so it's a nice oversized lot. It is a three-story beautiful gambrel built in 1974. It's a two-two, technically like a two one and a half, and lots of wonderful extras and bonuses and surprises. So let's go on in and take a look, you guys. All right, let's start our home tour at the property. So this is the property right in front here. And let's just pan a little bit to some of the neighbors. It's a nice quiet street, beautiful homes on it. There's a full 360 view. And here's the home beside the property. So let's make our way to the home here. So we've got a nice gamble style property. It has two entrances. Well, let me pan down from the top here. This home was built in 1974, you guys. It sits on a lot of 7,700 square feet. And the home itself weighs in at 1,304 square feet. Two entrances, one down below. Two entrances, one down below here. And this is your driveway from the top side. So not very steep. It's not bad. Pretty reasonable. It's tree lined too, so that's kind of pretty. So we're gonna start up here. This is the second entrance. Which is really your main entrance that we're going up to right yeah, now. This is the main entrance. This is your front door here. Before we step inside, we're gonna tour the decks a little bit. Looks like it has a decent chimney. Good condition. The roof looks like it's in good shape too. Yeah, and the roof looks like it's nice too. That's a heavy composition roofing. Yeah, heavy comp roofing. So here is your view from the deck. And some of the seating areas you have. Looks like they have a barbecue back here. And you can go straight out to the deck from the patio slider. So, very usable. Deck looks like it's in decent condition too. Could use maybe a little bit of stain or just power washing, but besides that, it's in good condition. So that's nice. Maybe you wanna shoot the back right now, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna show you, take you guys to the back here. Just kind of show you the back of the home while we're here. So, a little railing and some steps. Uh, it looks like this is your backyard here in the back. So, have to see where those lot lines are. Be interesting to see if your property lines are right at the fences or if it goes back a little more. Here is Here's the home from the back. So very nice. And let's take you guys into the property. We'll be back in just one second. All right, now we're ready to tour the home, so let's take a step inside. So we are gonna bring you... Go here first up, because they were curious yeah, as we're to gonna, how to get up. There it is. We're gonna bring you upstairs here real quick. So directly to the left, you have the, of the front door. Of the front door, you have yep. the upstairs area. And please excuse the mess. Uh, the current owners are moving, so it's pretty lined with boxes here. But I kind of, at least I can show you a little bit of the area. I built a pathway here. But you have your closet here, which is cool. It's just a basic shelf and rod, but it's definitely big enough. Yeah. Just... They have nice exposed beams. 
nice exposed beams here. I wish all this stuff was cleared out to show you the full space, but there's a lot you can do with this top area here. And let me just try to get a view down below. So very nice. And they have a couch here, it looks like, but lots of clutter. So it's hard to see the whole space of it, but it's pretty big up here. So let's head back down the stairs here. I was here. also going to show you the shutters. Yeah, has some nice windows and shutters has here. some shutters here. Yeah, it's kind of dark, but you can get the idea. The windows look like they're in decent condition as well. So that's nice. And then we're going to walk down the stairs here. Give it a call. Okay. She has a little wall sconce right there. Little wall sconce here. Mm -hmm. You know, nice ceiling. It's so a classic tongue and groove cedar. T and G. Nice windows too. And you got a little railing here as well. Two side lights, three side lights on the way down. And down below here is another bedroom and a uh, laundry room, and we'll be down there in a second. But we turn to the left here, and we have a little hall closet. So some storage space for your ski jackets and vacuum, you know, stuff like that. We have, right over here to the left, we have your first bedroom. So nice ceilings. There's those shutters again that we were talking about. Let me just step here and try to give you full scope of it. So, lots of space. And you've got your closet package here too. Check this out. Yeah. <clears throat> it's actually not a closet package, it's just a shelf and rod. Just a shelf and rod. But yeah. Still some decent space. It's probably like five feet. So the doors look like they're in decent condition too. So, all right, exiting the bedroom. Did you get the beams in here? Yeah. Here's those beams once again. And again, they have the shutters on the window. That's nice. Yeah. Nice beams. Yeah, nice shutters. Okay. It looks like this is another. Yeah, little storage closet here. That actually goes back a nice little ways, isn't yeah. it? Not bad. Mm -hmm. So that's your second. That's your second closet, closet. And, and this third. is just another oh, nice storage space. You third guys. for some towels and you know whatever else you'd like to store here. They they stored some Tupperware and spices. It looks like medication or something. So okay, so right directly to the left, we've got the bathroom. That's your main bath. You might yeah, want to slide over in the bath. shower. You got your little vanity and your toilet mm -hmm. and the flooring. And let me slide open the shower so you can. Little built in here. It's got a nice window. Basic fiberglass shower, guys. Basic fiberglass shower. And it has a skylight there, a little side window. For... But you can easily upgrade that. And it looks like mm -hmm. it's in decent condition. I like this mm -hmm. little skylight too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's the bathroom again. We are exiting the bathroom and we're going to make our way to the kitchen. So the kitchen is just a left turn out from the bathroom and so this is your kitchen living room space. So very nice, light and bright. Um, here's the kitchen first. So the kitchen is directly to the left. Cabinetry looks like it's in good shape. Floors look like LVT. Yeah, floors look like it's LVT. They have some granite on the countertops. Yeah, granite countertops here. They look like they're in pretty good condition. And they also have recessed lighting above that soffit there too. That's kind of cool. Yeah, a little recess lighting on the soffit. Microwave looks like it's in decent condition. Oven. Not bad. I'll open it. Yeah. Little dishwasher here. And here's the sink. Undermount sink, guys. Undermount sink. Nice little window view. Actually, that's really nice. Nice for the um, 
neighboring properties. Here's some of the cabinetry inside, so it looks like it's uh, lots of space, so that's nice. All right, so this is your view directly from the kitchen of your living room. So nice open, you have the nice wood beams above you. Let's go look at the used brick fireplace, you guys. We're gonna take a look. Let me show you, it might be too bright. But they have a little ceiling fan here as well. And the ceiling the um, ceiling really goes very high on this property here. And so here's the fireplace. Nice brick fireplace, very classic. It's a wood burning fireplace, you guys. Wood burning fireplace, which is really nice for those winter nights. So again, following with the T and G on the side. T and G here, all throughout. Here's that view from the top, so it would be from the top bedroom, and you can actually open that up too if you'd yeah. like to put some cool railing there, or you know, lots of possibilities. Here's Has your, three spindles that are going down to the downstairs. Yeah, three spindles that are going down mm -hmm. to the downstairs. Here's the kitchen again, directly from the living room. And we are gonna go down to the downstairs area. Here, nice little light. And here's the downstairs area, just come down here. You have to watch those steps with those yeah. size 12 shoes. <laughs> and so this is where your other entrance is here. And like I said, excuse the mess, the owners are packing, but Here's your other door that would lead, um, so you could come there straight from the driveway, which is nice. And then here is the bedroom area. I like the ceilings, it's hard to see the whole space because of the clutter, but it still looks like it's a big space. Carpeting throughout. But the ceilings are really nice and high. They're probably yeah. like a 10 foot ceiling here, at least. Yeah, 10 foot ceilings. Yep. You have nice windows too that give you some of that view outside so you can make this light and bright which is good and, and probably replace that light to something more modern directly to the left of the bedroom here you have the washer dryer area um, so just utility you have your two units here. which i also talked to kelly and he took a look and he said that it would be very easy also to convert this to a bathroom as well to have an ensuite you could actually have some sort of a combination of laundry room like if you did a stackable mm -hmm. and you shorten that up a little and then you could do a bathroom and then you've got an ensuite downstairs which is really cool yeah again with the high ceilings which is great and with the high Continues. ceilings so it doesn't feel like you're claustrophobic in here everything uh -uh. seems nice and open it feels roomy uh more storage which is nice so and then you've got your hot water heater back here, which I can't really get in there, but I can video it at least. So looks like it's a decent unit, not that old, but I'd say it's early 2000s unit, maybe. I'd have to get there and check on the tank, but what you could add is a tankless hot water heater, which would be really nice. So Okay, coming in over here. I'm not sure if I can get in this door. Okay, this is just kind of your crawl space. So, really dark in here, but crawl space for some extra storage. And well, that's your, your access for your heating as well. Yeah, your access for your heating as well. Let's see. Yeah, pretty dark in here. Is there a light in there? No. Mm -hmm. This oh. home definitely has a lot of storage space. Yeah, guys. lots of storage space <laughs> in here, so um this is going to wrap up the tour we'll be back with you in front of the property to end this home tour but thank you very much we'll be back in one second okay just making our way out of the property here after touring the home just wanted to address the fencing again um lisa and i were talking and we believe it's fenced in like this for a dog so i think that would make sense because the property lines would not be this close so i think the property lines are further back and they actually have I don't know if you can see that, but it's a yellow little stake there. Oh, it's orange. It's orange, and we're thinking the property line is probably back there. And then unsure where it is on this side. but We can verify the plot map, guys. Yeah, we can verify the plot map. So just walking down from the property, giving you one last peek. Did you show 
Yeah, here. Can you get an idea of this? Yeah. I would see this. Here's another little view of the parking area. So, pretty cool. Here's that outdoor entrance again. I'll show you the top of the home from the top down. All right, very nice. So we're gonna conclude our home tour in one second. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, this wraps up the tour of 42886 Hawk Drive. We hope that you find this helpful and give us a jingle. If you have any questions, we're here to help you. Let's buy a house. Thanks guys. Bye. See ya. <laughs>